Yo, what's going on Leafer Nation? It's Leafer back again and welcome back to the channel. Today I will be teaching you guys how to do each and every single deke in NHL 20. Let's get into it. The first thing I will be teaching you how to do is the backhand tuck. So this is what the backhand tuck looks like. Let me do it for you guys real quick. And it's just like that. Very simple to do. If you're with a right-handed player, what you want to do is hold it out to your backhand. And then press LB and RB. And that will do the deke for you. The next deke I will teach you guys is the backhand windmill. This is what the backhand windmill looks like. Very simple and very easy to use in game to get around opponents. So what you want to do to pull off a backhand windmill is again hold it to your backhand with a right handed player. You're going to press LB and then go right with the right stick and you will pull it off. The next deke I'm going to teach you guys is called the behind the back. Now this is a very um, complicated deke to pull off. It takes time to uh, learn. But it is very cool to pull off and it looks super clean. So this is what the behind the back deke looks like. It is very clean to pull off in game. Looks super cool. Uh, so what you want to do to pull off the behind the back is if you're with a right handed player, you're going to hold it all the way out to your forehand. You're going to hit LB, go inside with your right stick and then inside with your left stick at the same time and then quickly out with both. The next deke is very cool to pull off. It is called the between the legs. So you can either pass between your legs or shoot between your legs. So to, first off, to get the puck between your legs, you're going to have to click down on the right stick and hit LB. Pass it. All you got to do is, again, down on the right stick, LB, and then RT, and the puck will pass. Now, again, to shoot the puck, very simple. You're going to hit down on the right stick, LB, and then up on the right stick, and it will shoot the puck. Very simple deke. Looks very cool. And... If you can pull it off in game, it's super cool. So the next deke I'm going to teach you guys is the Datsuk Flip. And if you guys aren't familiar with what it looks like, this is what the Datsuk Flip looks like. Very cool to pull off. And it does trick out the goalie if you're playing an IRL goaltender. So what you want to do to pull off the Datsuk Flip is click down on the right stick. Go down and then hit RB to flip the puck. Very simple deke. Very cool to pull off in game. Now there isn't just the Datsuk Flip. There is the Datsuk Shot. So it is the same thing. Click down on the right stick down and then just flick up on your right stick like you would be shooting the puck and that's what it looks like. So I showed you guys the backhand tuck. I'm now going to show you guys the forehand tuck. The forehand tuck looks very cool. Uh, this is how it looks. Very cool to pull off. I just hit the post. It is very effective in game two. Uh, last year it was very OP. Not sure if it is this year. So what you're going to do to pull off the forehand tuck is hold it out to your forehand and then hit LB and RB, and that's how you do it. Very simple deke, very cool, and if you pull it off, man, you're gonna look pretty cool in game. So I showed you guys the backhand windmill, I'm gonna show you guys the forehand windmill. So what you guys wanna do to pull off the forehand windmill is hit LB and then go left on the right stick, and you pull it off. Very easy to get through people, and uh, it, it looks very cool as well. The next deke I'm gonna show you guys is the jump deke. If you guys are not familiar with what, how the jump deke looks, this is how it looks when you pull it off. Very cool. If a goaltender tries to fly and poke check you or spread eagles, you can easily jump over them with the puck and score. So, you might be asking, how do you pull off the jump deke? So what you wanna do is skate up, you're gonna hit LB and then up on the right stick and you will jump with the puck. Very simple to do. So this deke, we found out very late in NHL 19 that it was in the game and it is called the Kucherov Deke. I'm sure you guys all know what the Kucherov Deke is. If you guys don't, this is what it looks like. It is a very cool Deke. Uh, you kind of just lose the puck like he does on the breakaway. And uh, pretty much it kind of juice out the goalie and you hope that it goes through his five hole or he slides the other way and uh, you know, you get the goal. So. You guys might be asking, how do you do the Kucherov? And it's a very um, complicated way to do the deke, but once you uh, do it for the first time, you will get the hang of it. So what you wanna do is hold it out to your forehand. You're going to hit LB. Now, once you hit LB, you let go of both sticks and then go down on both sticks and you will lose the puck. So this is what it's going to look like when you do those controls. Very, uh, you know, a little complicated, but very simple to do once you get the hang of it. Next I'm going to teach you guys is how to put the puck through your legs if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. It's a very cool move as well. You put it through your legs, you can get through defenders that way. Looks super cool. So how you do that is, so if you're with a right handed player, you're going to hold it out to your forehand, hit LB and then swing the right stick around and it will go through your legs. 
Very cool to pull off in game and looks very uh, clean and simple. The next deck I'm going to teach you guys is the Toe Drag. A very cool way and simple way to get around opponents and create some space for yourself. So this is a very simple deck. It's a very simple deck to pull off and if you want to pull it off, if you're with a right handed player, you're going to hold your stick out to your forehand and swing your right stick clockwise and it will pull off the very simple Toe Drag. The next thing I'm going to teach you guys is the Kyle Turris. This one is a very uh, complicated one. I just learned this one myself for this video. So what you want to do is hold it out to your forehand. You're going to hit LB and then bring your right stick diagonally uh, out to the right and it will pull off the, the Turris. So this is what it looks like. Very cool deke. You literally just push the puck to your skate um, and it looks very cool. That was not it by the way. Uh, but very cool you literally just pull it to your skate and it looks super cool when you pull it off last but not least i'm going to teach you guys how to do the zetterberg if you guys are not sure what the zetterberg is this is it looks very cool in game you can get around opponents very cool break some ankles and show your friends that you know how to do deeks so to do the zetterberg what you have to do with a right-handed player is hold it out to your backhand once you have it out to your backhand you're going to hit lb and you're going to go outwards and then inwards now, if you fail to go uh, outwards, you're going to lose the puck. So very simple again. You're going to hold the uh, puck on your backhand. You're going to hit LB. You're going to outwards with both your left and right stick and then inwards. Very simple to do just like that. One of the easier complicated deeks to know um, in game and it is very simple. Anyways guys, that is going to be it for this tutorial video. If I did help you learn all the deeks in NHL 20, let me know in the comments down below. Hopefully, I was able to help you guys figure out how to do most deeks in NHL 20. Again, this takes time to learn uh, some of the you know more tougher deeks, so take your time with it. Don't get frustrated, and I'm telling you, once you hit it for the first time, it will be easy to hit it after that. Anyways guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to drop a fat like on it. Also, comment in the section down below if I was able to help you and if you enjoyed it or what I could do better next time to better help you guys, uh, you know, pull off these deeks. Also, if you guys are new around here, make sure to drop a sub. We are on the road to 2,000 subscribers, and uh, we are getting closer and closer every day, so hopefully we hit that milestone soon. Also, be sure to stay connected with me through Instagram and Twitter. The links will be in the description. Make sure to hit me with that follow. It will keep you updated when I upload and stream. Also, guys, I have a Discord where you guys can join. Uh, if you guys want to talk to me or any of the viewers as well, hit that link, join it, and come join the Leafer Nation Discord server. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!